to RPB Resonance Chemistry. So since five days, I can't able to upload the video in YouTube. Okay, so due to my personal work. But now onwards, I'll regularly upload the uh, like uh, our pending uh, series of videos like uh, IR spectroscopy, GOC, those kind of videos. Okay. Now today we are going to deal with uh, like uh, the continuation of IR spectroscopy part, uh, lecture number two on types of bands, types of vibrational bands. So this is our topic. So generally, five types of vibrational bands are there. So the first one is like a fundamental vibrational bands, fundamental band. Now the second one is like a overtone peaks, overtone vibrations. Now the third one is like a combination or differentiation. So these two are the like a similar kind differentiation. Okay, difference. Simply it is the difference peaks, difference tone peaks now the like this is the fourth one the final fifth one is fermi resonance so this is the very important one for ir spectroscopy fermi resonance now the final one hot bands okay now these are the six type of bands which are observed in the ir spectroscopy so in generally like this is the spectrum of ir Okay, so like a different different types of bands are observed. So some some of the peaks are like highly intense peaks, some of the like a broad peaks, some are the tiny peaks. So those peaks are related to the like different different uh, type of vibrations, different different type of vibrations. So the so molecule undergoes the different different kind of vibrations. It appears like uh, fundamental bands or overtone bands or combination or difference. So Fermi resonance, it should be like a Fermi resonance, hot bands. So these kind of bands are observed. Okay, now let us discuss the each and every band very clearly. So the first band is fundamental band. So the first one is fundamental band. Okay. Now here this is the fundamental vibrational fundamental vibration band. So in generally this is the like energy diagram. So vibrational energy V0, V1, V2. Let us imagine. So these are the like a ground state. First excited is a second excited state. Okay. So generally a transition occur. A molecule will occurs the transition from ground state to uh, like a first excited state. From ground state to first excited state. So those kind of transitions are called fundamental transitions. Those kind of transitions are called fundamental. So any transition, any molecule which which gives them like a transition, which gives the a particular frequency range. So now due to the ground state to higher like a first excited state, not the higher ground state to higher uh, first excited state transitions. So those are called fundamental transitions. So those are called fundamental transition. So in IR spectroscopy, more used in the like more observed in the IR spectrum. It is morely observed. Okay, so now it is a high intensity, high intensity bands lower than all the remaining types. High intensity, so regularly observed in the fundamental uh, like uh, IR IR bands. Okay, now the, how do you calculate the these kind of uh, how do you calculate so these kind of uh, fundamental transitions, fundamental vibrations? So generally, a molecule having the three kind of uh, degree of freedoms. That is a translational degree of freedom. Now the rotational degree of freedom, final one is the like a vibrational degree of freedom. Okay, so that means uh, each molecule, each a molecule having the three n degrees of freedom, three n degrees of freedom. Okay, so uh, whatever the molecule shape, whether it is linear or non-linear, so the three translational degrees of freedom are observed. Three translational degrees of freedom. So why? Because so translational means uh, the spatial orientation of a molecule, for, uh, like a shifting of a one 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 place to another place. It is observed in the spatial orientation. So whatever the molecule, whether it is a linear or non-linear, so it having the three number of uh, translational degrees. Three number of translational degrees. So now in case of uh, rotational degrees, uh, three n is nothing but like a translational, rotational, vibrational. Now what we need to find the like a uh, vibrational degrees of freedom if you know the translational and rotational so we can subtract the these translational and rotational uh, vibrations from 3n we will get the fundamental vibrations that's why so let us uh, we discuss the like translational and rotational degrees of freedom so this is the rotational degree of freedom so the rotational degree of freedom it having the two types so let's imagine 
So this is the x, y, z. Let's imagine. So this is the molecule. So if our molecule is like V A A, so this is the A to B type of molecule. A to B A type of molecule. Okay. Now we can rotate the molecule, so we will get the same position along the x-axis. But in case of y, y and z axis rotation, it gives the two different type of rotations. It gives the two different type of rotations. So a linear molecule having the two rotational degrees of freedom. Two rotational degrees. Okay. Now, in case of non-linear molecule, so this is the non-linear molecule. Let's imagine. So here it is the x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. Okay. So this is the molecule. Yeah. So x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. Okay. So whatever the rotation takes place, okay, through the like x-axis, x-axis or y-axis or z-axis, whatever the rotation. So it gives the three kind of rotations, like along with uh, x-axis or along with y-axis, along with z-axis. So the non-linear molecule, so it having the three rotational degrees of freedom. Three rotational degrees of freedom. So this is the overall introduction regarding to the translational as well as a, like a rotational degree of freedom. Rotational degree of freedom. Now we need uh, the fundamental vibrations. Simply the fundamental vibrations in molecule. So we can't able to see the like uh, these fundamental vibrations uh, uh, like uh, by the naked eye. We cannot able. We cannot predict the like those fundamental vibrations. So that's why we'll go through the simple formula. So. This is the three n that that having the like a rotational degree of freedom as well as a translational degree of freedom as well as a final vibrational degree of freedom. So among these three, so we can subtract the those rotations as well as uh, translationals. So in for linear molecule, rotations are two, translations are three. So th three plus two. So this is the rotational. Okay. Now uh, let's write the uh, number of freedoms. So rotational plus vibrational. Sorry, rotational from translation. Okay, this is for linear molecule. So 3n, 3n degrees of freedom. So the rotation is nothing but 2 for only linear, for linear. Translational 3, that is equal to the 3n minus 5. So this is the fundamental vibration rule for linear molecule, for linear molecule. Okay, now whenever in case of a non-linear molecule, so this is 3n minus rotation plus translational. Okay, now 3n, the minus of rotation for non-linear is equal to 3, translational is also 3, so 3n minus 6, so this is for non-linear molecule, this is for non-linear molecule, so these two formulas are very helpful for the prediction of fundamental vibrations, for prediction of fundamental vibrations. Now let us calculate the some of the examples regarding to the, like uh, this fundamental vibration calculation. Okay, so uh, fi finally we will conclude the two formulas that is nothing but uh, 3n minus 5 number of fundamental vibrations is equal to 3n minus 5 for linear. So now I will write, write over here. So 3n minus 5 for linear, 3n minus 6 for non-linear. Okay, and now uh, for the prediction of vibrational, uh, vibrational fundamental vibrations, we know that we are aware about uh, like uh, the structure of a molecule. Okay, so generally, so this is the linear and the non-linear molecule. Here, n is equal to total number of atoms in molecule. Total number of atoms in molecule. Okay, now let us take the some of the examples. Okay, now here it is the water molecule. So this is the ammonia molecule. So this is the CO2 molecule like uh, it is the benzene molecule so let's predict the how many type of uh, how many fundamental vibrations are there okay so h2o we know that it is linear structure it's bent structure that is a non linear structure so for non linear the number of fundamental vibrations is equal to the 3 and minus 6 so here n is equal to number of atoms so water molecule having the three atoms so two hydrogens one oxygen so that's why 3 3 minus 6 3 3 is are 9 9 minus 6 is equal to the 3 so water having the three fundamental vibrations only three fundamental vibrations only those three fundamental vibrations uh, can be obtained from the group theory analysis group theory analysis in case of ammonia it is also not like a, a non-linear molecule 3 into 
So number of atoms, so three hydrogens, one nitrogen, that is equal to the four. So four minus six, that is five minus six, which is equal to the six. Here it having the six number of fundamental vibrations. So CO2, it is the linear molecule. So in case of a linear molecule, the formula is changed. So three and minus five. So instead of three and minus six, we use the three and minus five. So number of atoms is equal to the three. Three threes are nine, nine minus five is equal to four. 9 minus 5 is equal to so 4 fundamental vibrations are observed. So, in case of benzene C6H6, it is the non linear molecule, non linear molecule. So, the number of vibrations 3 and minus 6. So, 3 into 6 is nothing but like um, so total atoms is equal to 12, 12 minus 6. So, 36 minus 6 is equal to 30 number of vibrations are observed. 30 number of fundamental vibrations are observed. So, this is the very simple formula regarding to the like IR number of fundamental vibration prediction. Okay. So, this is the common question for the like low level MSA entrance exams like BHU exams, those kind of exams. Okay. So, don't forget uh, uh, to learn these topics. Okay. Now, let's move on to the like advanced level that is nothing but uh, Fermi resonance, overtone bands like uh, hot bands, those kind of uh, other bands. Okay, now let's move on to the second one that is nothing but overtone bands. Overtone vibrations. Okay, so it is the like a simple energy diagram. So this is the V0, V1, V2, V3. These are the like energy levels, vibrational energy levels. So here to here, these kind of transitions uh, are fundamental transitions, which are already discussed in the, our, the starting of the video. Okay. So now a transition, a vibrational transition occurs simply a vibration of a vibration mode of a molecule which occurs from V zero to higher energy level. V zero to higher energy level. That means uh, a transition occurs from ground state to higher energy level through the first excited state. So, which is not the like first excited state transition through the first excited state transitions that is called overtone transitions. Okay, transition from ground state to higher excited states, higher excited states through first excited state. This is called overtone bands. This is called overtone bands. So simply, in, uh, like, uh, let us imagine. So, x and y are the like a uh, transition, two fundamental transitions, two uh, different fundamental transitions. Okay. So now, uh, how do you uh, how do you confirm the whether it is a uh, overtone transition or not tra uh, not overtone transition? So these are the like two fundamental transitions, two fundamental transitions. So whenever it, another transition which appears like a uh, in terms of 2x or 3x so and so on those are called overtone bands those are called overtone bands like uh, in terms of y so it appears like 2y 3y and so on those are called overtone bands overtone is nothing but so let's imagine so here it is the a peak uh, vibration so this is the fundamental vibration which are, which appears at 500 and centimeter inverse okay now we observed uh, so some of the like less intense demand at a thousand and again it is maybe appears in 15,000 centimeter inverse so those kind of bands are called as overtone bands that is nothing but so quite exactly twice of the uh, like our fundamental transitions which is nothing but uh, overtone transition so which appears it may be 2x or it may be 3x so 2x is the first overtone so this is the first overtone 3x is the second overtone x is the second overtone so in generally uh, these type of uh, overtone bands are lessly uh, lessly observed in the ir spectroscopy okay now here this is the like order of overtone degree of overtone whenever the degree of overtone increases intensity will be decreases intensity decreases degree of overtone increases like intensity decreases intensity Decreases. This is the one of the best point. Okay, overtone generally overtone bands are less intense bands when compared to the fundamental vibrations. So this is the more intensity. These are the less intensity. Okay, this is the like uh, second over first overtone. This is the like third overtone. Third overtone very less intense than the first overtone. Okay, so again fourth overtone very less intense than the second and third overtones. Second and third overtones generally. So second and the higher overtones are, are rarely observed. So these are the very rare cases, very rare cases we observed these kind of transitions, these kind of transitions. Okay, I think it is clear, these kind, these kind of uh, transitions are called uh, overtone vibrations, overtone vibrations. Now let's move on to the third one, third and fourth one. 
So that is the like a combination as well as different stones. Third and fourth, okay, combined with like a combinational tones, combination or difference. Okay. Now, so this is the energy level. So here also we observed uh, these kind of transitions, which is also not the fundamental transitions, which is also possible through the like a uh, lower level to higher level. Okay. So let's imagine. So here we have the like uh, let us let us imagine. So x and y are individual transitions individual transitions okay so these two are the two different kind of individual transitions now we observe a kind of transition okay we observe a kind of transition like in the form of x plus y or x plus 2y or 2x plus y so these kind of transition it may be appears so those are called like a combinational transitions these are called combinational transition Okay, are you clear? So a transition which is the combined the combining of uh, the new vibration which is the combination of two different fundamental vibrations which is the two different uh, the combination of two different fundamental vibrations uh, that is called as combination tones uh, whether it is in the form of x plus y exact combination or one is the one unit and another one is the two units that is nothing but x plus two y or two x plus y those kind of transitions are called uh, like a uh, combinational tones like in similarly different tones is nothing but x minus y x minus 2y or 2x minus y so these kind of transitions are, are called a different stone transition a different stone transition let's take the one of the best example that is co2 molecule okay so this is the this having the like these kind of four transitions okay so these are the four transitions now we observed 3015 Okay, so now we have two, three, five, zero, one, six, six, five, like a six, five, zero. Let the, all, all are the closer tones, closer values. Okay, so not the exact value. So first, second, third, fourth. Let's imagine these are the four transitions. Okay, now whenever uh, you can melt, uh, you can add the two, three, five, zero, and six, five, zero, which is which is closer, six, six, five. Let's imagine. So it is the six, six, five. So the combination of a three and one is nothing but fourth transition. The combination of three and one. So two, three, five, zero. 665 so approximately it is equal to the like our closer value 3015 okay so the 4 is called combination tone of combination tone of 103 combination tone of 103 so let's subtract these two values now we will get the exact value of second one that is nothing but a second is nothing but a different tone Difference tone or different vibration, difference vibration. So this is the like uh, the way of uh, learning the combinational and the different uh, like a difference uh, overtone vibrations. The difference. So not the overtone, difference uh, vibrations. Okay. Now let's move on to the fine uh, like uh, not the final Fermi resonance. Let's move on to the Fermi resonance. Okay, now let's move on to the Fermi resonance. This is the fifth one. Okay, so this was first observed by the Fermi, so scientist Enric Fermi. So that's why it is named as Fermi resonance. Okay, so generally, so this is the energy levels. Okay, now this is also another energy levels. Okay, let's imagine. So here to here, these are first ground state to first excited state transition is called as fundamental transition. So this is the fundamental. Now here to here, so it may be like a combination or first overtone. It may be combination or first overtone. Okay. So the matching the frequency of fundamental transition with first overtone or the matching the frequency of fundamental transition with the combination tone is called Fermi resonance. It is clear. So the matching the frequency. The matching the frequency of one fundamental transition fundamental transition with a first overtone or combination tone combination tone is called Fermi resonance is called Fermi resonance so the Fermi scientist Fermi was observed in the these kind of Fermi resonance in CO2 molecule okay now let us discuss the CO2 molecule okay so CO2 symmetry 
symmetry stretching that is a symmetry vibration symmetry stretching vibration okay so now it is in case of linear molecule so it, it may be like a symmetrical stretching like this elongation or it may be compression so these two are not change the dipole moment that's why so there is no change in the dipole moment it is inactive in ir spectroscopy okay symmetrical stretching vibration of co2 molecule so it is inactive in a ir spectrum in ir spectrum but it is clearly glues the like at 30 foot, uh, 1347 centimeter inverse in Raman spectrum. Okay, it is clearly absorbed in the Raman spectrum at 1347. That is the like a symmetrical stretching frequency of CO2 molecule. Symmetrical stretching frequency of CO2 molecule. Now, in case of IR spectroscopy, so it appears the like their bending vibration at 667 centimeter inverse. 667 centimeter inverse so that is the bending vibration of co2 molecule okay so this is the bending vibration so now let's imagine so the first overtone of this bending vibration that is nothing but in the form of 2x in the form of 2x that is equal to the 2 into 667 it is approximately 13 34 centimeter inverse 13 34 centimeter inverse okay so this is the first overtone this is the first overtone overtone of so those bending vibrations okay now the matching the frequency of uh, like one fundamental transition with first overtone this is nothing but Fermi resonance okay so this is nothing but Fermi resonance again the Fermi resonance having the another kind of um, like 1 is to 1 ratio uh, the matching the frequency approximately 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 0 0.9 0 0.995 so those kind of uh, transitions are observed in the like Fermi resonance okay so these two molecules sorry these two transitions uh, will appear as like it with uh, like 1385 and 1288 sorry 1388 and 1285 centimeter inverse so these two appears at a uh, 1388 and 1285 in the ir spectrum okay so let's imagine so symmetrical stretching frequency is uh, not observed in the ir spectrum why because it is a symmetry so there is no dipole moment that's why it is inactive in ir okay so that's uh, that's why 1347 not appears in the ir spectroscopy 1347 there is no 1347 peak why because it is uh, inactive in ir spectroscopy but it is active in raman spectroscopy now we are discussing about uh, ir spectroscopy okay so the bending vibration it it, uh, it is appears at uh, some like 667 okay with uh, more intensity 667 but these uh, first overtone which gives the 1347 so these two are matched together these two are matched together and these two are overtoned together so it appears at uh, 1388 and uh, 1285 that is plus 50 or minus 50 those kind of transition so with uh, 1 is to 0 0.9 intensity so this is the intensity ratio one is to 0 0.9 intensity so these type of matching the frequency is called as Fermi resonance these type of matching the frequency is called as Fermi resonance I think it is clear very clear okay so the fundamental transition of a single overtone which is matched by the like a first overtone or fundamental vibration matched by the first overtone or combination tone which is nothing but a Fermi resonance Fermi resonance so the Fermi resonance not only absorbed in these CO2 molecule it is absorbed in the in this case of uh, like a uh, aldehyde so here it is the bending uh, symmetrical stretching vibrations asymmetrical stretching vibrations it gives the doublet so those doublet uh, in the, uh, with the help of Fermi resonance only those doublet explained in the form of Fermi resonance only again not only uh, like uh, these kind of aldehydes uh, cyclopentanone so it is also gives the one doublet at uh, their carbonyl region doublet at carbonyl region so that is uh, approximately 1750 and 1745 so this is not exact value 1750 and 1745 so these kind of one is to one ratio over uh, bands are called as Fermi resonance I think it is clear okay so whenever we observe the like one is to one ratios very closer one is to one ratios uh, type of bands in IR spectrum those bands are called as Fermi resonance those bands are arised in the form of a Fermi resonance in the form of Fermi resonance so this is the very simple topic and very useful topic okay uh, maybe asked in the like a uh, type of uh, theory based question theory based question okay again the Fermi resonance is the common for both IR and uh, Raman spectroscopy. It is the common point. Okay, so the, it, it is observed in both IR as well as uh, Raman spectroscopy. Okay, now the final one. This is the hot band. Hot bands. Okay, so the name itself uh, it is up. Uh, it appears at the higher temperature. Okay, so this is the transition. Let's imagine. So ground state having the five molecules. Let's imagine ground state having the five molecules. So whenever 
the temperature is increased the temperature like at 50 degree centigrade temperature so one of the ground state populated molecules will uh, goes to the higher energy level let's imagine so the two molecules will get the higher energy level higher vibrational level so this is the ground state v1 v2 v3 okay now here uh, so the whenever heating takes place the ground state molecules can uh, can place that the first excited state first excited state now onwards here to here these kind of transitions may be observed okay so those higher level transitions are called as hot bands higher level transitions are called as hot bands i think it is clear okay so here to here so this is the simplest explanation of uh, all the all the bands okay so ground state to first excited state, that is the fundamental so ground state to higher excited state that is the overtone in the form of 2x and 3x in the form of 2x and 3x like uh, those kind of degree okay 2 uh, 2 and 3 is nothing but degree so whenever degree of uh, uh, overtone increases that uh, intensity will be less okay so those are the less intensity bands again uh, third one is combination the combination of uh, two different bands are same bands x plus 2 y or x plus uh, y or x, x like a 2x plus y those kind of transitions are combination tones again so the quite opposite that is the difference x minus 2 y x 2x minus y x minus y those are the like a different tone of transition different tone of transitions okay now so the fourth fifth one is the fermi resonance the matching the frequency of the matching the frequency of first fundamental transition sorry fundamental transitions with the first overtone or fundamental transition with a like um, what is called a combination tone those matching frequency with one is to one ratio that is called a Fermi resonance okay now here the higher level transition so that is a, a v1 to v2 v1 to v2 transition or v2 to v3 transition or v1 to v3 transition so these type of transitions are called hot bands or hot vibrational modes hot vibrational modes so that's all for this video this is very helpful for you guys so this is mainly theory based questions okay again some of the fundamental transition calculations it is also helpful for the like a uh, basic level students uh, that is a uh, msc entrance students as well as bhq like uh, those kind of uh, entrance examinations okay it is uh, helpful for the those kind of students mainly okay so this is the like a second lecture from ir spectroscopy Thank you so much for watching.